nice and thick. You can see how white that is and thick the egg yolks and sugar have become. And there's one other flavour. Now, classically, it would always be flour that you'd use, just a plain flour. But with sort of modern thinking, a lot of people now are adding corn flour to it, which works very, very well. But I'm going to add something else. I'm going to use custard powder which uh, may sound a little bit different, but what it does, it enhances that custard flavour and at the same time gives you a much brighter colour with which to finish this dish. So we're going to add to this about 25 grams. And now, as you can see, this has come to the boil and what we're going to do is, as we're mixing, we're going to add milk. You can see already we've got this bright yellow colour. You can smell the custard happening there, the fresh egg yolk, the fresh vanilla. I'm taking the pot out of the pan, but of course we want to cook out that egg yolk and at the same time thicken it an awful lot more because that's exactly what pastry cream it is. It's like a very, very thick custard. And now, of course, all we have to do is keep it on the move because you'll notice it will thicken very, very quickly. All you need to do is actually cook this for about two minutes and your pastry cream is ready. Now, as you can see here, this is very, very thick. Look at that. Once this is set, it's going to be even thicker. To stop a skin forming on top, what you can do, of course, is just take a little touch of icing sugar and dust it, which will prevent that skin forming. Or, of course, just cover it with cling film. Now, this quantity here, it probably makes about 300 millilitres, between 300 and 400 millilitres, which is far too much what I want for this actual recipe. I only want 200 millilitres of this. Now, I've got some pre-made here which is cooled. Look at that. You see, quite rubbery. But don't be put off by that. And it's at this point now, I'm going to beat it back down. And you can see it's doing that quite easily. So it's really not difficult at all. I think that's absolutely fine. You can see now, look. That's exactly the kind of consistency I'm looking for. Now, to add to that 200 millilitres of the pastry cream there, I'm going to take about 150 millilitres of double cream. I am just going to lightly sweeten it with a touch of icing sugar and let's be that little extravagant and add a touch of fresh vanilla to it. Right, that's the kind of consistency we're looking for, just approaching that soft peak. The first thing I'm going to do is take just a little bit of the cream and really work it in to the custard and that has helped break down the actual pastry cream itself yet again, but still nice and thick, which is just what we want. So this family slice, you've just got to imagine presenting this on the table. I think it just offers that little bit more than just strawberries and cream, doesn't it? First, take one piece of pastry for the base and cover with half the pastry cream. Because the pastry is so fragile, it's easier to pipe the cream on, and I'm using a one centimetre plain tube. Before the sandwich gets too big, transfer it onto a serving plate. So here we have the summer fruit family slice, just bound with that lovely soft pastry cream and sandwiched with the crispy puff pastry.